Hi guys, so welcome here today. So we are going to learn this African highlight guitar line that you can play in your highlight and praise in church. And also we're going to learn the chord progression majorly. You can see how we can use the dominant seventh and infuse it into the simple chord progression. We're going to learn um, one or two lines using the third duet. And um, what have you, every other thing that we can learn. So there's a lot here to share today. So make sure you watch to the end of the video so you don't miss any part. Anyway, let's go over now to the line. <laughs> So everything I'm doing is on key F. You could hear that I did different stuff. So we're going to see which one we can pick and learn over the course of this tutorial. So we go to the line on key F. First of all, the progression is F, then G minor to C, seventh. The line is one, two, three, four, one. Some do something like this so far. The, this line came in on the second beat. One, two, three, four, one, two. Right on the two. One, two, three, four, one. So me do something that is a So now the next thing we are going to learn, let's see what we can do to the chords. Now, like I told you, the chord progression is your F, then to your G minor, then to your C7, which is Do, then Re, then C7. The Re is your G minor, then your C7, C dominant 7. So we we'll just drop this chord one. Two, three, four. Then. Now, I did talk about infusing dominant seven. In African music, the dominant is used a lot. So now, basically, with your second or fourth theory, you can do your one dominant to your four. But here, we don't have a four. We're not going to a four. When I say four, I mean the fa. Instead of the fa, we're going to re. But we can also indulge our dominant, our one dominant, just for the sake of giving it the African flavor. So this is what we have. See? So this is the dominant note of your one chord. Is your E flat. So like your F dominant. So you I made this instead of going straight to my C dominant at once. I did like your six to dominant seven, three, four. You 
so how I strum it. You know, these are just tough to beautify your jam. I'm just doing a steady down up, down up, down up, down up. But I'm punching in on do do, tom tom, three Can you try that? Do do, tom tom. When I say tom tom, I mean the um, do not seventh of your F. So now this part. I embellished it sort of like you remember I told you that um, for our soul chord which is our C instead of going straight to the seventh I I'll do the sixth first so T B before I go to the five like now I did the same C sixth C to B then to C Came here to do it on the pitch. All right, so having um, um, dropped that, let's see what we can do. Anyway, if you enjoy my lessons here on YouTube, please like this video and um, leave a comment. It helps the channel grow. Do something, me so do something. Real laugh. Resorty so far, me do so me, me so do so me. Real alpha, resorty so far, me. That was simple. Me so do. One, two, three, go. Do so me, me so do so me. Real alpha, resorty so far. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll do one here. Two, three, go. I did do so me so do me do so me so me re la fa la fa re ti so re ti fa there we go do so me so do me do so me so me re la fa re fa re ti do ti ti da do so me do me Alright, so the other thing that we're going to do now is to um, create one or two lines without thought with hammer. Go! On YouTube here, I just bring bits and pieces, but I have an online academy where I broke down everything from beginners to advanced guitar lessons. Over 700 different lessons uploaded there. Click the link in the description below or app.spicy guitar academy. It takes you there to register free accounts and there are free lessons. There are free courses. Thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, see you.